Buying a house is a series of surreal moments. You know that you signed the deed stating that you are the legal owner of the property, but the feeling is quite different. You unlock the door with your new house key and step into the house for the first time. There's a strong sense of unfamiliarity amongst the hollow ambience of an empty house. Sounds faintly echo in the barren, unfurnished space, and there's a fading scent of cleaning agents and coats of paint. You stand before empty floors and empty walls, and it doesn't feel like your home. Not yet. This is because homes are slowly constructed by shared experiences and reinforced by your memories. Eventually, over the course of weeks, months, and years, as your family dines together, grows together, celebrates together, and even bickers and disagrees with one another, your house slowly transforms from the place you live into the backdrop of your life which you call home. So where will we construct the backdrop of our lives in the future? Well, there are three companies looking to redefine what houses are and how they fit within the environment. The first company is Blockable, founded in 2016 by former Amazon product manager Aaron Holm. And the idea was born after Holm's visit to a shipping container community in Detroit. And he was fascinated by the architecture. Blockable is based out of Vancouver, Washington, and their mission is to make quality housing available and affordable for everyone. And Blockable is looking to solve Seattle's housing crisis. On a side note, I grew up in Bremerton, Washington, which is an hour ferry ride away from Seattle. And I know firsthand that Seattle is one of the most beautiful metropolitan cities in the world. And the most captivating view of the city is from the north looking south where the iconic Space Needle anchors the city skyline while Mount Rainier hulks in the distance. Anyway, people and businesses have been gravitating towards Seattle's beauty over the past decade and it has been one of the fastest growing cities in the country. This is a video from GeekWire illustrating how the city will grow in the near future. You see, Seattle's housing supply has not been able to keep up with this growth. And Seattle's median home value is close to $700,000, according to Zillow, while about half of Seattle's residents have an annual salary of less than $50,000. And Blockable wants to solve the problem by integrating construction, software, and services into a single framework called the Microblock which has interior dimensions of over 10 meters long, over 2 meters wide, and about 2.5 meters high. Microblock is constructed using a structural steel frame with a shell that is water resistant, energy efficient, and includes sound reduction elements. And the refreshingly unique aspect of Blockable's building system is that it's designed to be scaled up and fit together in different arrangements. The microblock can be stacked up to five units high compared to most modular housing that can't build past the second floor. Another innovative aspect of the microblock is that it is integrated with modern technology. The block units include a smart home platform called BlockSense, which enables residents to control the electricity, the water, climate, lighting, and security Additionally, the platform can easily switch between various modes such as home, away, sleep, or vacation. And the price per square foot is expected to range from $150 to $300. And the typical finished units are estimated to cost between $25,000 to $100,000 depending on the size. So Blockable's building system will allow housing complexes to be built in months that would normally take years. And at the moment, the company is actively looking for potential projects within 1,000 miles from Vancouver, 
but they're also working on potential projects in Portland, Oregon and Palo Alto, California. All right, the next futuristic dwelling is the Eco Capsule, designed by Nice Architects, based out of Slovakia. The Eco Capsule is a cozy, self sustainable mobile microhome that allows you to stay completely off the grid. And that is so cool. The capsule measures 4.6 meters long, 2.2 meters wide, and 2.5 meters high. And it's like a mobile luxury hotel room with a hot shower and a mini kitchenette featuring two burners and a sink. It has a minimalist design with a bright sleek interior with furniture made out of lightweight honeycomb panels with wood veneers finish. And it's designed to maximize the space of the interior and includes a desk and it's full of cabinets and racks along with the bed that pulls out into full size. And the capsule is powered by its own solar panels that generate 600 watts of power along with its own wind turbine that generates 750 watts of power that are neatly embedded into the design. And the power is fed into a 10 kilowatt hour capacity battery which can power the capsule for 5 to 6 days. The capsule also collects rainwater and stores it at the bottom of the unit and that water is filtered and used for the shower and kitchenette sink. Okay, and the capsule features a floor heating system and the second generation capsule will have an optional AC unit with low energy consumption. The capsule will be able to accommodate two people and will be able to be towed behind a car and you'll be able to practically live anywhere in the world as it fits into a standard shipping container. And so the Eco Capsule is shipping globally at a price of almost 80,000 euros, which is close to $98,000 US. That is a lot of money for a small unit, but the company says that the price will drop significantly over time. And I love the idea of buying some land somewhere on the mountains or on the beach and simply plop the Eco Capsule on it and enjoy nature. All right, and the third company is ARCUP, based out of Miami, Florida. ARCUP manufactures solar-powered livable yachts that allow you to literally live on the water. The floating homes measure 23 meters long, 10 meters wide, and 9 meters tall, with 200 square meters of indoor space and 192 square meters of outdoor space. The home is decked out. There are too many features to mention, but it has four bedrooms, all equipped with king-size beds, two and a half bathrooms, two decks, five terraces, both indoor and outdoor kitchens, a video surveillance system, a marine sewage device, underwater lighting, a rainwater harvesting and filtration system, a hydraulic self-elevating system to prevent seasickness and flooding, and it's designed to withstand Category 4 hurricane winds. On top of that, it has a smart communication system, including satellite TV and Wi-Fi antennas on the roof, and the hull has three technical rooms, seven storage rooms, a water heater, and a 3,700-gallon fresh water tank. And lastly, it has a 2100 kilowatt electric thrusters that can propel the house at a speed of 7 knots and has a range of 550 kilometers. The house functions completely off the grid with over 200 square meters of solar panels that feed into a 1000 kilowatt hour capacity lithium ion battery. The first unit is set to be completed in June, so I'm looking forward to see how it will look in real life with a base price of over $2 million and up to $3.5 million for additional features the livable lot is not affordable for most of us but it's nice to dream right? so these are just three concepts of many in development around the world and I'm excited to see how the future of housing will continue to evolve and I hope to someday live in a house that is completely different from the stick built homes that are so common today but no matter how self-sustained, automated, and manufactured our homes become, homes will always be built by shared experiences and reinforced by memories. 
All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to know how cool life will be like in the future, join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe, and see you on our next journey.